Alrighty guys, here's round two for today. Welcome to Day Igloo, and this is going to be the actual Inside the Vault for January 9th, 2019. And they pretty much released something called, Alright, let's talk to you guys about nothing, and we're going to tell you guys a little bit about some information. But it's so ominous that we can't, like, it's just so hard that they can't disclose it. Like, give us a teaser, give us something like that. I really wish that they did this. So... We're going to get into the notes right now. Last week we mentioned that we would be starting a new year with new patches. The first of those will be coming January 14th. Like the December 11th update, this patch will address many issues the community as well as continue focusing and improving performance and stability. So what about all those things like vendors, like the vaults opening, and anything else like that? So, we'll have the patch notes available alongside with this patch on the January 14th. But some of the things we're planning to address, including issues with several challenges and quests. So, we're going to be getting new challenges? Is there going to be something that's going to be, like, better than fighting the, the queen, which is pretty easy? Is there going to be a puzzle? Is there going to be something like that where we can actually... Like participate in like th there's nothing that was really said in this kind of iteration many various fixes and a number of perks and weapons that we're tackling various exploits we've seen so it's probably what i also put up in my last video where i i just wanted to make some fun with it i bought like a thousand like bobbleheads just for the video to meme it because I wanted just for people to see that it can be killed pretty quickly for the Scorch Queen with like a thousand explosive bobbleheads. They're probably going to fix that on top of other things. Again, I just made a video so that I just made it for fun and it was for content and stuff like that. That's why like people were just like, oh no, we don't like you. Like, dude, it's just, it's just for content. Calm down. So... Uh, beyond Monday's patch, we're m working on another patch that we'll hope to hit near the end of this month. So, we're going to be getting at least two updates this month for January, at least, for us to actually play. Uh, this patch will also continue to add fixes and issues, including voiced and community, including a number of plans vendors have available so this is probably what happens when somebody cheated into the game and released a bunch of plans that weren't supposed to be in the game yet but they were in the sky somewhere and then they kind of bought all the plans and then they duped them so then they brought them down so and then they're saying fixing a few legendary mods what do you mean by mods like the stars available like, are you fixing explosive damage on how OP it is, especially in PvP? Are we balancing PvP? What What are we addressing? Like, literally something that is only a few sentences we're getting for this inside the vault this current time. And it's kind of annoying on how little that they provide us when it comes to these inside the vault keynotes. Uh, we will continue to keep you updated as we move forward to more patches new content new additions to fallout 76 like okay so with this like what's going on like there are still perk cards that are not working there's still perk cards that are really overpowered in different ways like honestly there's still a lot more stuff that needs to be discovered made to actually be fixed and all this other stuff so i i just don't know like uh, the best example there's a card that gives you uh radiation and extra damage i think when it comes to being irradiated but that card doesn't work there's also other cards that just completely don't work whatsoever and it's not needed super duper i mean at least it works so that we can actually make ammo and properly and have the possibility of doubling the ammo are you guys going to be making this game even more grindy because currently like they didn't say anything about the on server camp settlements the ammo production facility and where you can actually farm like they they didn't say anything like that like after they nerfed it and they made it so that it takes longer to stay onto a server. Most people just don't even claim like these kind of base camp settlements. Like we're going to need these kind of things so that we can engage into the PvP that you've been wanting for us to do. 
Like, what about all this other stuff instead of just playing casual all the time? Yeah, I know that we have a very casual audience in Fallout 76, but at the same time, they're also trying to appease to the other people that are in the PvP retrospect as well. So this is why, like, it becomes a conflict of interest in most of these cases. That's why when I see literally, what is it? One, two, three, four, five six seven sentences when i see only seven sentences in order to explain something that we've been waiting for since well, when was the last one when was the last one the last one was actually january 1st inside the vault before this iteration i'm gonna just click and just make sure and double check so before that it was january 1st and then after that was like december 25th so because we have such a long iteration and period, like I, we were looking for maybe like maybe a small hotfix update or something like that, or like maybe you should explain and elaborate more of what you guys are fixing or like what's your plan to fix, like these perks, the legendary mods or something like that, like little like information so that we can actually like figure out where your direction is going because currently you're leaving everyone in the dark with the little amount of information that you're actually providing like most of the community within fallout 76 and i mean maybe we might be getting a new nuke area because of the induendo of their uh picture that's actually on the bethesda page like it shows a automatic um grenade launcher and it shows the laser and it has a nuke zone area that's kind of in the north it looks like the area is inundated but that's just looks like the northern portion of the map so again like we we don't know i'm pulling at hamstrings right now so i really don't know exactly what we're going to be expecting hopefully they fix more exploits hopefully they get rid of rollbacks for client side so that most of these exploits can be fixed on top of the bobblehead which I just, again, made for the other video. But again, it's just like, we don't know exactly what they're going on. We don't know where their track is going for. All we know is that we have bolts in the future and they're gonna be fixing legendary mods and perks. That's all That's all pretty much that I got from this note. If you guys like this kind of stuff, I mean, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. And I'm just like, this is, this is the thinnest, like, inside the vault kind of update that i have ever seen like even other games make more than just seven fucking sentences it's kind of hilarious on how small this is right now like i mean i love the game but like this is kind of hilarious on how small like this is if they had like one sentence that said finn i would have laughed too but it's it's kind of funny all right have a good one guys